fun. Hey guys, Speak Easy Podcast listeners, I know that you are ready for another episode of the Hashtag Speak Easy Podcast, where we go behind the scenes talking about what it means to be successfully paid speaker or author, what it means to elevate in life and business, what it means to live the best life that you have put on paper and above. With that being said, I'm your host, Altavis Pelzer, your voice manager. I unmute the voice of women, ready to speak up about what has kept her silent for way too long. This episode... I know you saw it. This next season is my due season. I'm excited because the guest that I have on today, I know is going to share some powerful nuggets with you. So be sure you got your notepad or your index cards and get ready to take some things down because we are about to move you closer to your due season and also kind of prep you for it. So with that being said, good morning, Dr. Eric. How are you? I am good. I am great, um, sis. All is well. And um, just an honor and a privilege to be here, just to be able to share, but just to just dialogue and talk. But I am ever grateful. I'm privileged and just blessed to see another day above ground um, and to see that we have been given another opportunity of life. Most definitely. I am appreciative of that. And so before we dive into today's topic, Tell the studio audience a little bit about yourself. Uh, a little bit about me. My name is uh, actually since I just, you know, went through all this training and got my education in it. Um, I'm a certified life coach. Um, coach Dr. E, they call me, but my name is Dr. Eric Holmes. I'm a native of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, born and raised, went to school, went to college, moved to Maryland 27 years ago. Um, work at Johns Hopkins for the last 23 years. Um been a member of the greatest church on this side for 27 years, the Bethel Temple Church of Christ, y'all located at 3910 West Roger Avenue, where we will be celebrating Sunday's 69 years. And I have an awesome pastor, the Bishop Richard Pender and Lady Pender and our former pastor, um, who I came up under, the late Apostle Evans. And I'm just an humble servant who said yes, you know, with all of these accolade, best-selling author, you know, entrepreneur, healthcare worker, um, not only that, a life coach, um, I have an LLC, but beyond all of that, I'm a servant who said yes, because the greatest among them shall be called servant. If we forget the servitude, we have forgotten it all. So I'm just grateful to, you know, be an humble servant, save, and one who said yes to God. Oh, that's a great place to start too, because when we think about, uh, our due season and, you know, our next season, Man, it's so hard for us not to get caught up and be um, discouraged by what's going on in our current season. And so, Dr. E, speak to that a little bit about for those who have been looking at the current things, the current climate in our in our society as a world. And that, you know, not just nationally, but internationally, uh, the things that have been going on. What would you tell them is their first things to kind of jot down or look at to say, okay, I know my, I'm in my current season, but I have to keep looking towards my next season. One of the things is I always tell people, you have to start with prayer. You have to seek God for direction, for guidance, and for the sustainability. A lot of times we go through challenges, and I just had this conversation with my sister um, when I showed her the copy of the proof book, which it really uh, is going to bless people to understand and know this is because in life, you're going to have challenges in life, you're going to have circumstances in life, you're going to as we go through this journey called life. So ups, downs, in betweens, but here it is. Whenever you're headed for something great, you can look for challenges. Whenever you're headed to purpose or you're headed to the promise, the blessing, my next season, you'll always find there'll be challenges. There'll be things that will come up because the closer you get, it seems like the worse it gets sometimes or the closer you get, it seems like the enemy is sending everything or they say everything but the kitchen sink. But here's the thing I tell people, you've got to stay consistent. You've got to stay faithful. You've got to stay in the race and stay in your lane. It's not how fast you run, but that you endure. It's not how you start, but how you finish. So I always use the illustration with 
the rabbit and the turtle, which is in my other book, The Power of the Seed. It wasn't how fast he was going. He just kept on going. And so even with the scripture, you know, the race is not given to the swift and the battle to the strong, but he who endures to the end. The whole key of it, I say, is endure. The other part is it wasn't how fast or how he started is that he finished. And because people may start out ahead of you, you just keep going. You stay focused. You stay determined. You stay in your lane. You stay in the race. And so when you look at it, you're looking at the finish line because it's closer to when you started. And so I'm closer to the finish line than when I started. And so I always tell them, stay in the race continue to run the race and run it with patience, endure, be consistent and be determined. And sometimes I say, you've got to press over beyond and press through because it's in the press. It's in the push. It's in like the woman with the issue of blood. She had to press through, press over and press beyond to get what she needed. And so a lot of times challenges, circumstances, but what is my focus? And I tell them to stay focused. Distractions, all kinds of things will come. But when you're focused on where you're going, you'll know I got to push to get to where I'm getting to. And so here it is. I'll just say prayer. Stay consistent. Endure the race. And knowing that there's a greater outcome because all of these light afflictions, they're but for a moment or just momentary, which means they don't last long. But you got to focus on the end result. You got to focus on what is ahead. You got to focus on knowing that the best is ahead of me than it is behind me. So stay focused and don't be distracted by even what you see. Because here it is. You can be distracted by other people or measuring your success, which I tell them, don't measure it up to somebody else's. Don't do it because you will be distracted. You will be discouraged. But see, you don't know what it took for the next person to get to where they are or where they need to be going. And so stay focused. Stay in the race. And don't get distracted. Focus on I got to get to the finish line. And it doesn't matter how fast or how much is that I keep on moving. Mm, that part, that consistency is so valuable. I've seen so many people with everything that's been going on this year that that they've stopped and started, stopped and started. And, and that consistency puts you in a position of, and, and it's, it's interesting because this is not a topic that people talk about, especially in the business sense. But if you look at those who have reached a higher level of success, they implement it, but they don't talk about it. Because if I just continue to move forward, then there are opportunities that open up that I did not see. There are conversations that start that I did not know were going to happen. And because I'm so focused on trying to plan everything, I miss out on things when I just stop because I don't know the next couple steps ahead could have been somebody that wanted to invest a million dollars in your business. The next step ahead could have been somebody that wanted to gift you a house. You know, you never really know where that blessing is coming from. So I, I, I love that you said that. And it, it takes people into a different realm because we're always doing this struggle between what we see and our vision, our sight versus our vision. And so it's, it's always that battle. And part of it is who are you listening to? How are you investing in yourself? And so Dr. E, what is one of the ways that you would tell them that during this time they're seeking prayer, but what is another way that they need to be investing in themselves? Uh, one of the other things is, is that here it is, no matter challenges or circumstances, you've got to invest in you. You've got to invest in your brand. You got to know your brand. You got to be your brand. And when you show up, you are your brand and you've got to be your number one supporter, even when others aren't. You've got to believe in your vision, your dreams and your goals, even when others don't. Even if nobody says to you, you're doing a good job, you've got to know it. Like I'm sitting here now writing my affirmations for today. I believe them when I write them and then I put my faith into action. And so a lot of times what happens is you get distracted because you're basing what you see on somebody else. As I said previously, do not look at somebody else. I'll use this example. This book was three years in the making for my next season is due season. 
challenges, yes. Circumstances, yes. Uh, right before we were getting ready to finish, my aunt, who does my corrections and making sure it's right because that's what she does in the natural and spiritual, her husband transitioned, who also happened to be our presiding prelate. And so, so many things happened. But I said to her, it was in the timing and season because though he gave me from the, the reality to the vision, I've now had to work the vision and build the brand. And so I still had to put in the work. I still had to do my part. And though with challenges and circumstances, even things that happened that we could not control, you still got to stay focused on what is the outcome of what am I doing? What is the outcome of my brand? my business, my vision, my dream. And so I say you can't let the vision or the dream die and then can't allow others to cause them to die. And so I still had to stay focused. But what I said to my aunt was, it's still in the timing and season because it couldn't have been released then. It had to be now because now I'm operating in the timing and season because here's where we miss it. It may be time, but not season. It may be season and not time. And so now when you operate in the timing and season, you can't go wrong. And so the manifestation happens because one, it's already done in eternity. It's just manifested in the earth realm. And so even with this book, you'll have challenges, but I still had to focus. My season is now. My due season is now. And I could not let that go. I still had to be focused on what the whole outcome would be. And so you got to stay focused you can't get distracted. Yes, situations are going to come. Things are going to happen. But my greatest thing when I tell people, when you do your vision boards and, and I have a goal vision and objective board and a prayer board, but I have to go back, revisit. I got to go back, reassess. I got to go back and focus. Now and I got to take that pivotal moment and then move forward. But here's the other thing. In the midst of that, God gave me something I've been sharing. He said, learn to create even in a crisis. But don't focus on the pandemic. Focus on the promise because the promise is going to outweigh the pandemic. And so here it is. I focus and I learn to create in the crisis. Why? I created a book in the midst of a crisis. I created a workbook in the midst. I created uh, the power of the seat master class. I learned to create in a crisis. And then I've learned to take all of that and apply it and move forward. Yes. Challenges. Oh, absolutely. Circumstances. Yes. It's just like if I was on a bus trying to get to New York and I got on in Baltimore, but though I New York is my destination, here it is. There's stops in between. I may stop in Maryland. I may stop in Delaware. I may stop in Philly, but my destination is New York. So I don't get off the bus because I got stops along the way. They are part of the process. And so I still got to be focused that my assignment, that my, my destination is New York. So I got to stay on the bus and I got to ride it out till I get to my destination. Yes, in between stops, in between people getting off and getting on. So what is my focus? I got to stay focused on the vision. I got to stay focused on the goal. I got to stay focused on on my end result of where I'm going. And so you will be challenged, but you got to be reminded of the vision. You got to be reminded of the purpose. You got to be reminded, this is my brand. This is who I am. You got to be, re and sometimes you got to, I said this to my first lady, Dr. Pender today, sometimes you got to stop Pause and think, because all you need is a memory and a flashback. And so what is it? I got to move on forward. If I had some stop, but my focus still has got to be my destination. You know, that's an interesting statement right there, because I think this was a very good time of clarity this year, because a lot of people realize that what they thought was their destination was not that they were on this journey to someone else's destination. They were on a journey to their parents' destination because that's what their parents wanted them to do. They were on their destiny, you know, on a journey to a destination that was meant for their kids because, you know, they were trying to do things for them, but it wasn't their destination. And so a lot of people that is what they had to come to grips with is that I've been on this journey and I'd have been on the wrong bus. I'd have been on the wrong bus. And so this was, you said it, it was a time to pivot because when you on, oh, this is so good. I hope y'all are catching this Speakeasy podcast listeners. When you are on a journey, 
and you are in, going in the wrong direction, you don't continue to go in the wrong direction. You redirect. And sometimes that means having a conversation. Sometimes that means getting in a class. Sometimes that means going back and getting your degree. Sometimes that means starting the business. Sometimes that just means jumping and leaping even when you don't have every single detail in place, there are going to be moments where you have to take action because it's going to lead you to something else. It's going to lead you to something greater and you can't pre-plan every single thing. And so, yeah, there are some of you that are listening into this episode that you realize this year you were on the wrong bus and that's okay. Because it's important to, to acknowledge that you realized it. But guess what? Now is the time for you to be able to step in and say, okay, so what do I need to do to get back onto the right path? That part is so valuable. Oh my goodness. This this episode right here, Dr. E. And you said something so powerful because here's the thing. You can be on the wrong bus and going in the wrong direction. But if you get off the, the wrong exit, and you follow the detour, you can get back on the right road. And then you got to exchange buses. And so you can get on the right one and going in the direction that you should be going. And so here it is. I've got to now recognize and realize I'm headed in the wrong direction. You know, when we were in school, we used compasses. Well, it will tell you whether north, south, east, or west. If I was going in the wrong direction, see, now I got to look at it again. And I always use this. Here's one of my words. You got to learn to look at it from another perspective. The wind was blowing last night. And so here it is. But I heard something in it. Now, see, the wind has a couple fold or two fold, if you will. It blows things into perspective and then it blows things away. And so now that it has blown things away, it has now blown things into perspective. But here it is. There's a sound in the wind. And so I'm listening to the sound in the wind and it's making a different sound as the way it was blowing and then shifting because now it has shifted the atmosphere. It has shifted uh, where it was blowing. And so things were blowing. The leaves were blowing. But yet and still, it blew the leaves away because I needed to be cleared. And sometimes you need things to be blown away and be cleared. So now like the plane, I can see clear. I got a clear landing. It's okay if I took the wrong exit because if you see signs that said detour, if you follow the detour, it'll get you back to the right road. If I know my vision or I know my breath was headed in the wrong direction and I stopped, I pause, I take that pivotal moment, or I contact somebody that can take my vision and see what I don't and yet push the vision. And that's why you need coaches and you need mentors and you need other people to help you to get to where you're going. Because let, let me tell you a prime example, and this is really going to bless somebody. I was in the midst of a wilderness experience when this came about. I was in between positions when this came about, but yet and still my focus was this has got to be released in the timing and season challenges. Yes. Wilderness. Yes. But here's the thing. No matter what, I had somebody that would look at it and take it further and in conversation and in conversation. With, I was led to somebody else and not the other two uh, or three publishers. Here it was in a conversation of helping somebody else came about this. And I said, wow, I had no idea you did that. So here's the thing, timing and season, because he allowed me to connect with them for somebody I already knew, never knew they had a company, a publishing company, yet and still one of my good friends who I didn't know did all this other kind of work. So what it was in the conversation of supporting her business, she said, well, X, Y, Z, now she's the one who took the manuscript and made sure it was uploaded in KDP and all of that. So here's the thing. In the midst of it, he still allowed me to create, even in a crisis, even in the wilderness experience. He allowed me to understand and know that if I endure the wilderness, I'll be able to enjoy the promise. And though it was a night season, yet morning was on the other side, but yet it's still the promise is still good. And there's no expiration date to his word or his promise. And so in the midst of that, this was still the end result. I couldn't quit because quitting is not an option. And I had to keep moving 
and keep pressing even when there was a pause. But see, every delay is not a denial because things were delayed on purpose, for purpose, but yet still on schedule because God is still on schedule. And so this was right on schedule. And there's a clock on here because after this clock moves, I'm in another day and I'm in my season. It might be night, but yet it's still morning because after the clock changes, I'm in a whole new day. My birthday was yesterday, but after midnight, I'm in now in another day. And so here it is. It may have been night, yet it's still morning, but I'm still in a new day. Come on. Oh my goodness. Speak easy podcast listeners. I hope you guys were taking notes. I hope you were jotting things down. I hope you were listening in. You may have to hit that little pause button and rewind it back and and, and make sure that you catch a couple of things that you might have missed simply because even if you are, if this has been the hardest year you've ever had, if this has been the most that you've never struggled like this. You've never dealt with these feelings before. You've never had these conversations before. We understand, even though you've never had it happen before, it doesn't mean that this is an end time. It doesn't mean that this is going to be the end of what you're supposed to be doing. It just means that something is shifting and that is okay. Accept that. Run towards it sometimes because guess what? You're going to love it on the other side of it. So with that being said, Dr. E, let them know how they can reach you for more information and also how they can find you online. Um, you can reach me on all the social media, Dr. E, um, on Twitter. You can reach me on IG, Dr. underscore E, underscore Holmes, underscore, or you can reach me on Facebook, Eric Holmes, or if you go to the Amazon in my book, The Power of Seat, my information's in there, the email, E-L-Y-N-N-K, 1306 at gmail.com. You can catch me every Friday on Power 4.4 Radio, The Power of Influence, which will Dr. E, 6 p.m. to 8. And so not only that, you can always reach out to me. I, I am part of the elite, wonderful Black Speakers Network, so you'll always see me on there. I'm part of a lot of different groups, and so I'm really excited about that and because you can connect so many different ways. And here's the thing. It's the power of networking in divine connections in this season. Be clear that it's divine connection. Be precise and that the power of networking is so important. And because in all of that, um, that's why, and you can reach me also on LinkedIn, um, Eric Holmes on LinkedIn. Use all of these uh, media outlets to be able, and people talk about social media. It can, yes, we know things can get in there, but you've got to use it for what best fits you and use it for the right reason to get a positive result. And so no matter if someone's using it negative, you got to see that it's a positive wrapped up in the negative and you got to use it to your advantage. And so every outlet media, you can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, you can find me on all of those. I don't use TikTok as much, but you can find me on all of those. But you'll see me doing lives or like I said, every week, every Friday, or you'll catch me on on one of these lives because I do a lot of lives. And here's the other thing I would teach is that you've got to use all these necessary tools to help market and to help brand and to help push. Even though I know we have different things and you do got to invest at times in your brand, who you are. I'm, I'm a certified life coach. Now I had to invest in me. I'm getting ready to finish. Um, John Hopkins University, Cary Business School and Executive Business Management. One class, I'm already registered. But even in the educational piece, I'm getting that. I just finished financial man I'm getting all of this that's going to help me because in the next couple of years, I'm not working for anyone. I'm going to be, why you're building someone else's brand and their vision, make sure you don't forget about your, I am building the vision and I'm working the brand. That's my model and my t-shirt line. I'm working the vision and I'm building the brand because I can't forget about mine and help somebody else. So make sure you take that time to balance and make sure you get all that you can and then get with somebody that can help you, that holds your best interests at heart. And that can help move you in the direction you're going, even if you were going in the wrong direction. They can redirect you to the right way in the right direction. I love it. Speak Easy Podcast listeners, this is why we are here for information just like this, because I want to see you succeed. Remember, it's all about you elevating in life and business. 
And without the Speakeasy podcast listeners, there is no Speakeasy podcast. So join the conversation. bit.ly forward slash World Voice Community is how you join the free Facebook group. We want to hear from you on how this episode resonated with you. Or you can also leave us a review on your favorite podcasting platform. Guys, with that being said, I am Altavis Pelzer, your voice manager. And until next time, don't forget to press it out. See ya.